Hello, my name is Billy McLeod from Veterans in Action. Oh, hello, John. Now, I've got some notes for me, which I don't normally have, I normally just waffle on. But I got some notes for me today because I didn't want to forget any names and I'm sure we still will uh, forget some names. And these are the people that's actually made this project possible. Organisations, individuals and companies. So the first is those that helped fund it. Uh, the first being the Masonic Charitable Foundation, who first gave us a donation of £25,000. Uh, that's what made this expedition that started it off and made it a reality. Therefore, we're going to be leaving in two weeks time from two weeks at this time from the Masonic, Masonic Hall or the Great Hall in London. The next funder was Aviva. Uh, through an online appeal, uh, through social media, we won uh, £10,000 from Aviva thanks to all you who voted for us. So Aviva obviously put the money up but the reality was that it was all used on social media that made it a reality for us to get that funding. Veterans Foundation is the next one. Uh, uh, we got £10,000, or just short of £10,000, from uh, the Veterans Foundation. Again, really, really thankful for that. It took a little bit of work to put the grant together, but that was great. And they, 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 were, they gave us 9700 I believe it was. And the last one was to uh, makes, give this project some longevity uh, was the big lottery. Uh, the big lottery, uh, the, uh, they gave us just short of £10,000 again. And that's to make, uh, after the expedition, to continue this project, working with serving personnel based just about three miles that way in Tidworth Garrison. And wherever else we go with the vehicles, uh, we'll be working with serving personnel alongside veterans who are trained as expedition leaders, uh, which will be done on our, done on our expedition. So that's the funders uh, for the project as such. So throughout the project, we've had been getting these. You've probably seen some videos of us getting some really Gucci items off of people. The first one I want to mention is Curry's Know How. Now, Curry's Know How have supported us for a very, very long time, four or five years now, I think, and they've gave us everything we could wish for, ele electronically-wise, like electric-wise, for our centre, but they've stepped up again for this expedition. They've provided us with GoPros, drones, cameras, uh, what else, John? Lots of different items, isn't there? Lots of different stuff, lenses for cameras, uh, video cameras, 4K video cameras. So we can't thank the Curry's know-how uh, enough for the continued support of our project. Uh, another one is Regatta Outdoors. Regatta Outdoors, what can I say about Regatta Outdoors? Again, they've stepped up to the plate. Again, they've been supporting us for about four or five years now, and they've provided clothing for uh, all our expeditions in the last four or five years. And for this one, they've really stepped up and they've gave us lots of gear for everybody involved in the project, not those just the 12 going away in the expedition, but for all those who's been involved in the project, so that we all feel part of that team. And that's something we all want to be part of. Uh, Sometimes leaving the services, we become an individual and we're not really good as just us on our own. So by, when you bring people together as a group, we all want to be part of that team. And that's what the regatta has done, so we all feel part of that. Uh, John behind the camera keeps on pointing at the trailer, which is just over here. We get these from Field Care in uh, Salisbury. And we've had to use that, uh, the trailers, to help us out uh, with getting the vehicles into the workshop every week. Uh, that we've used, so uh, they've, they've supported us and have always been there to help us uh, with the trailers. So uh, the next one I'd like to mention is Tang Tools. Tang Tools are a really quality tool uh, uh, for the expedition. We wanted a, a tool kit uh, and they've stepped up to the plate and they've gave us a full toolbox uh, with every, every item of tools we could need. Uh, again, can't thank them enough. And also uh, alongside Tang Tools, BAP Group are going to provide us with all the nuts and bolts, Jubilee clips, all of that we need for the expedition as well. So that'll be all the stores that we need for there, so tools and uh, parts. 
uh, as in uh, nuts, washers, all that kind of stuff. Rhino products is the next one. Uh, they provided with a roof rack for the Defender. So that's why we only need three for the discos. We've already got one for the Defender. And that is the roof rack over there in the box, just at the back of, or the front there of the disco in the box. We've got uh, another big roof rack which came off the original body of the Defender. But now uh, Rhino Products has gave us a brand new roof rack, which is really, really good. The next one, has, which has been a huge one actually, we have spent in the region of £35,000 in parts, I think it's something like that, uh, uh, with Maltons, uh, who have gave us a great discount. And uh, without that discount, the vehicles wouldn't be built the way they are. We've literally replaced all, everything that's new on the, the mechanical side of these vehicles. And Maltons uh, gave us cost plus 5% on other parts. So a lot of money spent with parts. Uh, the next one, I'm missing a wee page there. So there's that many people to thank. So sorry if this takes a long time. Simon, uh, Simon from Raptor UK and you, Paul. Simon, I contacted Simon a while back and asked him if he'd like to uh, help support us with Raptor Paint. And he, he couldn't have been more helpful if we tried. He's went out of his way to help us along with you, Paul. You, Paul's the, the parent company, I believe, and Raptor UK is one of the products. As you can see in the vehicle in the background, they're all painted with Raptor Paint. I don't know if you can hear this. It's not like flat metal, it gives a good texture to the vehicle, which is really, really hard wearing. So Simon's helped us with all these products. He's also done quite a bit of the painting himself as well. I think he actually painted this vehicle here. What, that wouldn't have been made possible though, uh, because we didn't have a, a compressor big enough to use uh, uh, to spray the whole vehicle with Raptor paint. So Phil, uh, Phil Ashley from Premier Group up in uh, Hedensford. Uh, he stepped up to the plate and he gave his old workshop over for us. Some of his staff got involved uh, with the, the helping of uh, prepare the vehicles and masking them up ready for painting, plus the spray bay, which without that we couldn't have got these vehicles done in time. So Phil and all your staff at uh, Premier Group, many, many thanks for your help. Uh, I hope we can work together in the future because... Uh, it's great to meet great people who do good things. Along with that, along with Simon and Phil, Andy from Morelli Group, again, gave his time up and helped us paint the vehicles. And he's coming down to finish the vehicles three days before we leave, which will be three roofs of the discos, two back doors still to do, and one bonnet, and all the little touch-ups that have to be done. So Andy, many, many thanks to you as well. Uh, the next one is Bidfood. Bidfood, uh, based in Plymouth, and I know they're all over the country, but Bidfood in Plymouth stepped up to the plate and they helped us with, uh, not just not just for the expedition, they've been raising funds for us anyway, uh, uh, with all, this, all the staff down at Plymouth Bidfood have been out doing events for us, and then Richard from Bidfood come up and visit this week, brought tea, coffee, hot chocolate, all stuff like that, sugar, Everything like that we need, that dry goods. Obviously, we can't carry too many uh, fresh because uh, limited space. And uh, so it was only dry goods we can get. So things like pasta and, and all that type of thing. So many, many thanks to Bidfood for your continued support. Uh, to Andy Hartley and his wife, Christine, uh, I think it is. Uh, they, they've been super supportive of us. Tires. Expedition tires. It's, it's a big, big cost. People don't realise how much that cost us for the vehicles. For four vehicles, obviously 16 tyres, and we've got two spare tyres for each vehicle. So 24 tyres, which we got from Mr. Tyres in Andover, from an old friend, Ray Cutton, who got us the best deal he could get us on the tyres, but still a very expensive item. And uh, so, as you can see, we've got mud terrain tyres on them, and uh, really, really good, very robust. Had this vehicle over the solid plane over the weekend, and it, it handled extremely well. Not being washed. It's not been washed properly, like, so we need to get on that. So, some of the guys involved in the project. Uh, last one, but before that, is Terra Firma 4x4. They were the first sponsor to come on board and helped us with lots of parts. So, there's lots of parts on these vehicles from Terra Firma, like shocks, springs, all that type of thing. So, again, many, many thanks to Terra Firma. So, if you're into 4x4s, get to Terra Firma. Great gear. So, 
This could only have been made possible uh, if we had a workshop to work in. And Stuart Ward, uh, ex Remy, uh, Tiffy from the Remy, uh, gave up his workshop almost every weekend for us to build these vehicles. So, given his own time and effort and his workshop and all his kind of expertise and time, many, many thanks to Stu Ward. Now, Stu can't make the expedition, which is a real shame because I'd love him to come on the expedition uh, for lots of different reasons because his expertise would be uh, invaluable. But to take his place, uh, Stu's son's coming on with us. Uh, Stu's son, George, has been involved in the project from the day one and uh, he's, he's worked with the guys. So he's going to take Stu's place. And he, because we're going to visit uh, some places in Bosnia, Stu served in Bosnia and George is going to take his place and visit some of the places that Stu served in. The next one is uh, Tom uh, from Engine Envy. Now, Tom, uh, ex-RAF regiment, which we've never taken the piss out of at all throughout this whole project. We've never mentioned anything about five mile of death. Tom has been uh, an expert on all things mechanical. He's a person I go to very, very often, like if I'm, I'm asking a question about anything to do with the vehicles. Uh, he's done so much. He's not with us now because he's, uh, uh, he's, got, he's so snowed under his work and he's had a bit of an illness recently. So, Tom, your arm missed and I hope you can make the expedition. I've got one place left and it's safe for you. If you can't make it, let me know ASAP. But I'd love you to be part of it, mate, because I think it would do the power of good. Now, a couple of units. Uh, we've got uh, Sean Jones, who's served with the uh, Prince of Wales Royal Regiment. He did some events for us. So Sean raised uh, quite a bit of money for uh, PWRR. Uh, sorry, for the expedition. And back in from PWRR, who made a donation of £1,000 as well. So I'd like to thank PWRR, uh, who will have their logo on our vehicles, as well as every company that we just mentioned. Uh, Royal Engineers Association. As many of you know, I'm an ex-Royal Engineers and so is a lot of people involved with Veterans in Action. And once again, the Royal Engineers stepped up and the Royal Engineers Association made us a great donation of £3,000 towards the expedition uh, because we are taking several sappers with us. Uh, the last one uh, that made us a big donation is uh, uh, Sapperfest. Phil Kahlo, Julian Byrne and all the team at Sapperfest. Sorry if I missed any names. Chris Frith and others involved. Uh, Many, many thanks to you and all those that came and see us when we attended Sapperfest this year. Many, many thanks for your donation. It means a lot to us uh, that the core I served didn't get behind us. So many, many thanks to you. So if any core members would like to make a donation, it would be most welcome. I think at the moment we have six sappers on the expedition. Trevor Colt. Trevor Colt, I think, raised over £5,000 for the expedition. Uh, he has been right behind us the whole way. Uh, Trevor's going off to do his own thing, starting his own foundation up, so we wish him all the best. Sorry to see him leave as a patron of Veterans in Action, but we fully understand that he is going on to his own things, and we wish him all the best with that, and hope we can work together in the future. So many, many thanks to Trevor Cole and all those who donated to Trevor. Last but not least, uh, we have a project at Veterans in Action called Made by Veterans who have supplied obviously, the t-shirts I'm wearing and the one he's wearing behind the camera and many, many other t-shirts that the team have worn throughout. So many, many thanks to young Billy at uh, Made by Veterans who's made that uh, possible for us by doing all the work on the t-shirts for us and the designs. And one last one that I hadn't written down here is Jamie Munro Nan, who designs all our stuff for Veterans in Action, the logos, everything. And last but not least, I keep on getting the last one, he's done another one comes to mind is Graeme Smith from GRS uh, down in Southampton who are going to do all the graphics for the vehicles once we get all the logos to them. So I know that's been a bit long-winded and sorry to be drawn out but I think these people need a special mention and uh, for the support they've given. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter at VIA Charity.